All right, welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Smith & Wesson CSX. let's just take an overall look at the Smith & Wesson CSX. To me, it almost looks like a 1911 with the exception of the fatness of the grip here. But you can see there's a beaver tail back here, hammer, and it just really looks like a 1911. Look at the beautifulness of that black finish on there. This is a really great looking pistol overall. Really like the way it looks. Again, almost 1911-ish with the exception of the thickness of the grip this way. You know, it comes with standard three-dot white sights, serrated on the rear to cut down on glare. You also have grooves cut out on the top of the slide here, also to help reduce on glare. And I really like the aggressiveness, the look of this slide here. You got the front and rear cocking serration just slanted just a little bit. Not scalloped like you would see on an M&P Pro. I love this cutout here. <laughs> it looks so cool. Have a look at the muzzle here. You can see that also there's a cutout here. And it's rounded to prevent snagging when reholstering. Man, that is just one aggressive looking micro compact pistol. I like the way everything just kind of looks like it's slanted forward like that. And just really quick, looking again at the thinness of the slide, which I really like. I don't know if there's going to be enough space up here to make a cutout for a red dot. But I guess that's the trade-off because the thinness of this slide makes it very comfortable to carry close to your body. And then coming around to the front, we don't have an accessory rail, fairly small trigger guard. You do have a safety on the trigger as well as the rear safety, just like a 1911. In fact, the controls are very similar to a 1911. Got your skeletonized hammer, serrations on the back, gives you grip back here. Here's what the safety looks like with that on. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Disengage. Now you got it. And there's a look at the magazine release. I don't have an issue with the magazine release design in general. I think it's very good. It's also reversible to the other side. But the one issue I have with the process of releasing the magazine is when you're using the 12 round magazine, it, it gets stuck because of this uh, kind of... In my opinion, it felt like it's a rush design. They just came up with this as a solution. So this is the 12-rounder. The Again, the button works just fine. It's just that extra two rounds in there gets stuck here. If you look at the 10-rounder, absolutely no issue. It goes flying right on out of there. In fact, I'm willing to bet if you take that off and put that in here, it's a no issue. So I don't know how it is. Everybody's hands are a different size, but once you get this little rubber band on here, it causes issue with the release. Mm. Now, despite the size of this pistol, it is very comfortable to shoot and very easy to grip onto. I think it's because the thickness of the grip this way and the combination of the beaver tail, when you get it in your hand, you get a lot of support from the beaver tail on the web of your hand, and the thickness this way fills up the portion of your hand where you're gripping onto it. So you get really nice feel and very easy to control, especially with shorter pistols, shorter barrel lengths. It's a little bit snappier uh, on the front end, but very comfortable to shoot. Just a quick look at the texturing on the side panels, not overly aggressive, uh, but you can see here and on the front strap, same type of texturing. And then of course, when you punch out the magazine, that's the area where you change the back strap if you wanted to. It comes with these replacement panels here. But for me, this one feels just fine. Just fine. All right, here's the overall weight with the 12 round magazine empty. Coming in at one pound, 3.8 ounces. Hmm. And just for a weight reference, here is how much a 16 ounce bottle of water weighs. So that's coming in at one pound, nine ounces. So just to give you an idea of where the overall weight of the CSX is at.
All right, let's have a closer look at the trigger action here and address the complaints some people are having on the reset of this trigger because the initial trigger pull here, I mean, that's it. Once you're here, you got it. All right, so here's the reset. And this is not the reset. Okay, that's not the reset, right? Because I got nothing here. The reset will actually be out here. Right there. And back on. Okay, we'll do that again. Again, the initial first pull is great. But on the reset, okay, not there, right there. You can actually feel and hear that click. We'll do it once more. Okay, again, you got it right there. There's your wall. Nice clean break. On the reset, you just got to have it come all the way out, right there, and then you're back on it. Can be a little bit tricky at first. All right, let's have a look at the trigger weight here by doing three quick pulls. There's the first pull coming in about five pounds, one ounce. Ooh, hey, hey now that's pretty good. All right, second pull. Hook it in. Second pull. Wow, look at that. Four pounds. Is that for you? Yeah, four pounds, 15.1 ounces. Okay, last pull. It's a really nice trigger, guys. Really nice trigger. It's well weighted. Just has that weird hitch on the reset, right? Third and final pull coming in at five pounds, four ounces. That's pretty nice. Final thoughts on the Smith & Wesson CSX. Number one, I love the way this pistol looks. I love the coloring of it. I love the aggressiveness of it. I like the size of it. Very easy to carry and very comfortable to shoot. However, some things I don't like, I don't like the plasticness of the trigger, and I don't like the weird hitch that it has on the reset. Now, once you start playing around with it, you're really not going to notice it. You just have to embed it into your cadence that that weird hitch is there. So maybe they'll fix this plastic shoe and that trigger reset. And, of course, the other thing I don't like is the fact that this rubber band on the magazine prohibits me from getting a clean release with the one-handed magazine uh, ejections but other than that it's a great pistol i do think you can get better pistols for the money out there there's a ton of them out there that we're going to have a look at in the next coming videos uh, but guys if you think you're interested in the smith and wesson csx this is a beautiful pistol shoots really well and you won't be disappointed in it all right guys hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video